Hey Gorals, welcome back. So when we last left off with Tammy, she was, well, giving Amberlin a piece of her mind. So today I wanted to talk to you about a very controversial YouTuber named Amberlin Reed. I think a lot of people are not like haters like she describes them. I think a lot of people are just, they just grew tired. But after that, we saw her struggling with gaining some weight back. She had gone from her heaviest of 440 pounds down to 330 pounds in May 2021 and back up to her highest weight by October 2022. Uh, last time I weighed in was like three or four weeks ago and I am at my highest weight again that I ever have. I don't want to lose that weight again and be at the same point that I am right now in, in two more years. I don't want to lose weight. I want to really fix my eating disorder. Today we are picking back up with a video titled Lots of Food and Come Shopping With Me. Okay, so I'm having breakfast. I'm going to have three slices of bread for breakfast and I'm also going to prepare my other three slices. I'm just going to take them along with me because I have to go to a few stores. It's pretty late. It's almost like it has been noon. I'm going to have one slice of bread with peanut butter jelly. I have one slice of bread with some ham and I have one slice of bread with some cheese. I also prepared my lunch. Like I said, three slices of bread, one of them with slice of lunch chicken meat and then the other two with some peanut butter and jelly and that will be my lunch i went to the grocery store and when i walk in the grocery store the first thing i see is all these fresh baked pies we also have a lot of bread and buns and other home baked goods we have a really really big bread culture for breakfast i'm going to have these three slices of bread with some of the goat cheese and some honey in general i try to not count any calories and i also try to not calculate every macronutrient this all came to 715 calories and you can see the other macronutrients in the corner there and of course, Tui is with me, he's always watching me cook because I think he just hopes to get something, which he rarely gets, but still, he's so cute. A few days ago, Tammy posted to her community tab informing us that her beautiful cat Stewie has passed away. It reads, I have a very sad update about Stewie. Stewie's health has been deteriorating fast over the past week. My vet and I have tried everything we could to try to make him feel better and to nurse him back to health, but Stewie's body just isn't able to go on any longer. Unfortunately, we'll have to let him go. Tomorrow, I will bury him in my parents' garden where he used to spend most of his time when he was younger. We have buried Stewie in my parents' garden today. That's the place where he would spend most of his time, like in my parents' garden still when he lived there and when I lived there. Stewie will be in my next few vlogs, but yeah, just so you know that he has passed away. So all the footage that you are going to see now is older footage. I definitely got a full house of cats, but I love them so, so much. For those that haven't been blessed to hear Tammy's voice yet. I'm always dragging that horse I don't feel like going into the store, but I have to go into the store because I have to get some things that I really, really do need. So I'm back from the store and I am heading over to Talita tomorrow and I'm going to give these to her. They are a little bit dangerous because like you can just open them, but I haven't had any. I am not that hungry lately. I'm not really in like a binge mood or whatever. When I'm in a binge mood, you will know. <laughs> then Tammy watched the video I made called Meet Tammy Lemon. There have been quite a few new subs since Apathetic Facts made a summary of my YouTube journey so far. I got very motivated by watching it, so thank you again for making that video. For everyone who is new to my channel, here's a quick summary. My name is Tamar, but you can call me Tammy. I have been struggling with binge eating disorder for a long time now. I use food as a way to soothe myself because that is what I learned from when I was a little tiny lemon. By the way, the reason that I eat three slices of bread is because this is in agreement with my dietitian. Even though she says to also eat three slices, this is what I would normally do before. And it works because I lost weight on this. This is just a Dutch word joke. This means like bullshit. But then in Dutch, we don't use use the words like bull and shit, but we use the words like dick cookie. <laughs> In this box, you can maybe guess it already, I have my dick cookies. I look pretty, oh so pretty and pretty and gay. Here she is showing us her seatbelt extender and telling us how she wouldn't be able to buckle nor move around comfortably in her car without it. The honesty and transparency with Tammy is something I really love about her. I had been postponing folding these 
wash clothes for a long time and it took me quite some time and i also like i really really felt my back it was not a lot of fun but i did it anyways i just wanted to talk a little bit about how i'm doing how i'm doing with my weight with my food intake how i'm doing mentally i am doing good uh, with food i'm also doing pretty good i did have that binge but that's the last binge i had i don't have any binge thoughts at the moment i haven't had any binge thoughts like last week and this week so far so i just thought like for this month i'm going to get into this like very very seriously last month i had that overeating episode or cheat day i ate uh, i don't know like three four thousand calories of like things that i was craving probably ice cream eventually i still binged it didn't help and i remembered like yeah i did this two years ago too i also tried to plan those overeating episodes to take off some steam and to try to not have that binge eventually well didn't work then didn't work now so my conclusion about having cheat days is just don't and i am not a trustworthy person when it comes to food in that regard of making promises on the long term if i would be able to make promises like that, I would not be where I'm at right now. Although Tammy is struggling with her weight gain right now, she is still able to be honest with herself about what she's doing right and wrong, and is able to reflect on past and present behaviors in order to learn from her experiences. There's a cat on the toilet. Me. I'm really trying to give myself some space to learn here. Like there is always this turning point where you're like, just f it all, I'm going to binge. But I've also had periods where I was depressed and I just didn't give a f about myself and about my health. It is not very calming to eat. Sometimes you're super mad at yourself. Sometimes you can be very sad. Like it's not always like, oh my God, I'm going to eat and now everything is feels so good. And it's just a way of numbing yourself. But I am going to not have cheat days anymore. Christina. I was just laying in my bed, chilling out, wearing only like this t-shirt that I have been wearing for the last two days. And then my doorbell rang. Every time that my doorbell rings, I get very anxious. Well, I am not going to open the door. Like it's 8 a.m. already. And then a little bit later, again, someone rang my bell and I was like, hmm. And I opened the door and I was just looking through the door like, who the heck is this? And then I heard someone walking up and I saw this head. I am so scared. On the stairs, there was this person that I haven't spoken to in nine months, I think, a friend. We didn't really date, like it was nothing romantic, but we did just enjoy each other every now and then. This isn't going where I thought it was. Like he was really, really into bigger women. Oh. It's, it's a shame because like, of course, I also want to be close with someone, but the price that I had to pay was just too high because I noticed that every time that I would lose weight, I just felt that he was not liking it. So she explains that at first it wasn't a big deal because she wasn't looking for anything romantic, just closeness and intimacy. But his focus on the physical aspect of women's bodies and the constant objectification of his co-workers, exes and any women around him started to affect her mental health. And then after blocking him in January, February, I have not spoken to him. And there he was in front of me. He said like, hey, I just wanted to see how you were doing. Maybe I can come inside and we can talk about some things. And I was like, no, I don't want that. Setting boundaries is very hard for me. I almost certainly know that if he was going to push me into coming inside my house, I would probably not be able to keep saying no to him. He did not enter my house. I'm very happy that I just set that boundary and that like I only saw him for like a minute. I don't like seeing him. I was not liking seeing him. It's gotta be so difficult to break off a relationship with someone who loves the way you look, especially if you don't even like your own body or you know that that body is killing you. But I respect her want to put her health before her want to be close to someone. Especially someone who doesn't have her best interests at heart. So guess what I'm having for breakfast? Of course, I'm having a slice of bread with chocolate sprinkles. This is going to be my painting outfit. Just a really old shirt with lots and lots of holes. And also one of my black pairs of jeans with some holes in it. Hey Stewie. Yeah, you want to go outside? I'm sorry. I really like the background. Thank you for choosing. I don't know, but I 
just don't feel like my usual self. So I'm just going to continue. And that's something that's very, very important because the first thing that I thought yesterday was like, ugh, I feel like a pig and I'm just going to stop eating. And tomorrow I'm just going for one meal and I'm going for like a big walk to burn some calories. That's something like I've been there. I've done that so many times and it does not work. I want to restrict really, really bad and I want to not eat three times a day just once. Been there, done that, doesn't work, at least not for me. Hey guys, so I have been struggling and I gave in. I have ordered some fries, I had some leftover peanut sauce from yesterday and I ordered three, not one, three pints of Ben & Jerry's. This is just the first one that I am going to eat. This ended up being one of the biggest sugary binges Tammy has had in a long time. While she is extremely self-aware and knows what's good for her body and what isn't, the decision to do what we want to do instead of what is in our own best interest is a common problem that I certainly relate to. Lately, it seems she's been having a really difficult time snapping out of this routine. Um, so last week I had a really hard time. I went to the store with Stefan, I didn't have any binge thoughts then. After that I went home and then a few days later the binge thoughts begin began. I ordered a pizza one time and I had a lot of trouble like mentally with it. I just could not let it go. And then a few days later I ordered again. I ordered some fries and some snacks. And then eventually I ordered again. I ordered three tops of Ben & Jerry's. <sighs> So this is what has been going on. I'm sorry that it's just like this really quick update. Right now I'm going to go to the vet with Sui. Like I said, he's very sick. He has like his skin is yellow. I think there's something wrong with his liver. He's visibly ill. So I hope that there will be a solution after this appointment. I'm out of breath so easily <sighs> because yesterday I had a binge and I'm here with my cat. <sighs> That's embarrassing.